Hi, Harvey Bloodline. This week, our topic is our favorite food. My favorite food is actually the tres leches cake that you get at Abuelo's Mexican Food Embassy. It is the most delicious cake in the world. But unfortunately, here in Germany, there are no Abuelos, and I could make homemade tres leches cake, but it would not be the same. And so I decided for my favorite food for this week, I'm gonna do my favorite German food, which is Pfefferschnitzel. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to make um, unbreaded schnitzel with a green peppercorn sauce. Are you excited? For this recipe, you will need schnitzel. I am using turkey schnitzel. Beef broth, green peppercorns, salt, heavy cream, and no, this is not a health food, cornstarch, and one onion. I'm gonna be using a recipe that I got from a German cooking and baking class they did on the military base here. It was a schnitzel class, which I was really excited. Ah, my cookies are done. So the first thing you need to do is chop your onion. And this onion is actually like really massive, so I don't know if we're gonna use the whole thing or not. Probably not. I bet I only use half of it. So when you're all done chopping your onion, it should be very finely chopped. Nice tiny little pieces because this is going in the sauce. So the onion is all chopped and now I'm going to go ahead and heat up about a tablespoon of oil in my sauce pan here and this is what we're going to make the sauce in. And we're not going to start the schnitzel just yet. We're going to get the sauce completely done and then we're going to just keep it warm. And that way we're not rushing between the schnitzel and the sauce. Once the oil is heated, we are ready to add our onions. To it. Okay. Uh, Talking to the camera because this is my Harvey Bloodline video, remember? So just cook the onions on medium heat until they become glassy. So the next thing we're going to add is our beef broth, and I have one and three fourths cup of beef broth here. We're just going to pour that right in. Now we are going to slowly add one cup of heavy cream. So now we're Hi, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just cutting my head off in all the shots. So now we're gonna add two to three tablespoons of green peppercorns. Gruner Pfeffer. Okay, now it's time to add the cornstarch to thicken it up, and I will tell you my way of doing that. First of all, I put a little bit of beef broth into a cup. Then I add cornstarch to the cup. And whisk. Whiskey, whiskey, whisk. When it is all combined and there are no chunks, you may add it to the thing on the stove. Okay, so I have been cooking it on medium heat and now I'm gonna pump it up to just medium high. Not super high, just medium high, just to get it simmering a little bit so that the cornstarch will thicken it. Okay, while I'm finishing up the sauce, cause the sauce is pretty much done, it just needs to get a little bit thicker. While I'm doing that, I am heating up a couple of tablespoons of oil in my big fry pan because it's about time to start the schnitzel. Schnitzel, schnitzel. So, we're gonna prep our schnitzel workstation. Um, there's a couple of things that you're gonna need, especially if you can't get actual schnitzel cuts of meat. I'm using turkey schnitzel, and it actually is turkey schnitzel, like it's, it's cut in a schnitzel cut. But you can also use turkey cutlets, and traditionally schnitzel is pork, so you can use pork cutlets. Um, but the key is to get it the right thickness, which is not very thick at all. So we're going to use plastic wrap. And what I do is I take a nice sheet of it and I lay it over top of my cutting board. Okay, so we got one piece of plastic wrap down. I'll just wrap it under there like that. Okay, and now I'm going to take a schnitzel from the pack, like so. Lay it down. On the paper towels, which you cannot see. Let me adjust for you really quick. There, can you see that? All right, lay the schnitzel down on the paper towel. Spread it all out, very good. And now we're just gonna dry it. This actually looks pretty thin, but I'm just gonna hammer it for the sake of the video. So we need another piece of plastic wrap. Just lay that on top of the schnitzel, like so. And now you get your meat mallet. And this is the fun part, people. This is the fun part. And you just pound it 
till it's nice and thin. Usually you're going for like a one fourth inch thickness. Okay, now what you want to do, you peel off your plastic there. And you can use the same piece for multiple, multiple schnitzels. That's what I usually do. And then I'm just going to salt it like so. A little bit of salt. And I'm going to put some pepper on it. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to just flip it straight into the pan. There we go. Slide it off to the side because there's going to be, okay pan, you can calm down. There's going to be another piece in there in a second and then I'm going to salt and pepper the back side. So now we are going to flip the first schnitzel and see what it looks like. Oh, that looks good. That looks pretty good. So as I finish each piece of schnitzel, I put it on a paper towel covered plate to drain some of the oil, some of the grease. Tonight with our schnitzel, we are going to have pickled red cabbage, which is very popular here in Germany and also quite delicious. And we are also going to have frozen croquettes. They're kind of like mashed potato tater tots or something. Okay, everything is done. So now it's time to plate up the food. Here we have the final finished product looks pretty good so that's my favorite food here in germany what is your favorite food oh so full that was delicious <laughs>